Doctor Who Galaxy 4 The 18th Story of the First Doctor is written by William Ems and starring William Hartnell, Maureen O'Brien and Peter Purvis and yes I've got uh, an actual William Hartnell wig uh, so shout out to my gran who uh, gave it to me on Christmas which is uh, very kind of her, couldn't thank her enough. So throughout season 3 Verity Lambert was the producer until after Mission to the Unknown. John Wiles took over but then after the arc Innes Lloyds became the producer. As of time of recording season 3 is the longest Doctor Who season as they have 45 episodes and 10 serials but with 28 missing but at least they animated Galaxy 4. They haven't animated William Hartnell's story since uh, The Tenth Planet which came out on DVD in 14th of October 2013. So the story was going to be called The Chumblees but there's different resources alternatively spell out the numeral in the title that's Galaxy 4. And it's a great title. Sadly BBC hasn't hold complete stories in the archive any longer. However, part 3, Airlock, has been found by Terry Burnett, who was the ITV engineer on 11th of December 2011. Although the last 27 seconds of action and the end credits are all missing from the print because of the break, the clip of part 1 was found and held in the archive thanks to Who's Doctor Who 1977 documentary, except it's only 30 seconds with bad quality. John Vincent Rutsky, who was the president of the Doctor Who Appreciation Society at the time, kept the footage after it was discarded. So episode 1, 400 Dawns, we get a brilliant opening on the planet's surface, the way music played and TARDIS materialised. Vicky seems like she's giving Stephen a haircut. As they're about to leave the TARDIS, there was Chumbly scanning the TARDIS and left. Vicky called it a Chumbly. As they went out the TARDIS, they're captured by a Chumbly as they're moved. Dravins put a net on a Chumbly which deactivated it. So they convince the TARDIS team that it was a rescue and go to the spacecraft to see Marga before more Chumblies come and they are. So everyone ran into the spacecraft and met Marga. Two Dravins sat in the machine. Marga explains who she is, why they're here and why they don't like the Chumblies. They also explain that the planet will be exploded in 14 dawns. She claimed that her ship was shot by the rails but they fired back. So the Doctor and Stephen went back to the TARDIS to find out if the planet will explode and rails mislead them. Vicky decided to stay after Maga says one should stay. Chumbly tried to break in the TARDIS but failed so the Doctor and Stephen looked on the scanner and said to Dawns the next day is the last day this planet will ever see. Uh oh. So part 2, Trap of Steel, they are a group of Chumblies trying to break in the TARDIS but still failed. So the Doctor and Stephen decide to go back to the spacecraft. Meanwhile Vicky is not liking branch with leaves uh, as a food. As the Doctor and Stephen return to the spacecraft, the Doctor lied saying 14 Dawns when Magga got suspicious with the Doctor and pointed a gun at him, the Doctor reveals it's two Dawns. So he said he could talk to Rails and take Vicky with him while Stephen stays. Vicky figured out if she threw a stone behind a Chumbly it wouldn't see. So the Doctor and Vicky followed it to Rails' spacecraft. Meanwhile Stephen tries to get a Draven to side with him but got caught by Maga. As Stephen decides to have a kip, Maga plans to kill him when she's ready. The Doctor and Vicky looked around and sees a scary creature in the window. William Hartnell is amazing as the first Doctor. I wouldn't know what the show would be like without him. Maureen O'Brien and Peter Purvis are great as Vicky and Stephen. They're likeable, independent and great chemistry with each other and the Doctor. Stephanie Bidmeet played Marga, the leader of the group of Dravins when they crash into the planet. Dravins are female soldiers and humanoid races from the planet Drava. I'd love to see them return. Chumbly are the machines that Vicky gave the name, were created and controlled by the Rills. I thought they're pretty cool, Peter Capaldi wanted them back, which I agree with him. Rills are peaceful telepathic reptilian humanoid who controls the Chumbly as I've just mentioned, which I thought he's great too. The casts did a splendid job, the sets and effects are well done for its time and low budget. The stock music by Less Structures, Sonos is brilliant. I love how they reuse the soundtrack from the web planet. As of time recording, the only survived part is part 3, Airlock. So the Doctor and Vicky took over while the Chumblies are coming past. The Doctor and Vicky ran but the door shut. 
leaving Vicky with the Chumleys. So while the doctor is wiring the machine, Vicky makes a contact to the Rill, as apparently they're offering Dravins to get off the planet, but Dravin sees them as enemies, and it wasn't Rills or Chumleys that killed one of the Dravin. It was Marga who kills that poor Dravin that was injured. Jeez. Vicky had to stop the doctor from breaking the system, so they both agreed to help Rills. Going to repair the damage you have done. Yes, yes, thank you. As they head back to Draven's spacecraft with two Chumblies, one of the Draven held them at gunpoint, but luckily the Doctor and Vicky disarmed her and took her hostage. Meanwhile, Stephen managed to knock a Draven out, taking her gun. He was about to go outside, but there's a Chumbly. As he's caught by Marga, Stephen is given three choices. Go outside and be killed by a Chumbly, stay in the airlock and suffocate, or go inside and surrender. So the Dravins turned the oxygen off, letting Stephen suffocate, which is pretty intense. Part 4, the exploding planet. As the Doctor Vicky and two Chumblies arrived, one of the Chumbly broke Stephen out, and thankfully he's saved. So a Chumbly held all Dravins at gunpoint, while the Doctor, his companions and Chumbly head back to Chumbly spacecraft. The Doctor decided to wire the machine from the TARDIS. Stephen didn't seem to trust Rails, so after a Chumbly got destroyed, the Dravins were on their way. Rills paralyzed the Dravin. After the Rills can escape, they say goodbye to each other. The Doctor and his companions head back to the TARDIS, being followed by Marga and the Dravins. While the planet is exploding, Marga got destroyed with the Dravins, which is pretty dark. I don't think David Tennant's the Doctor would have left them to die. So in the TARDIS, the Doctor, Vicky and Stephen sees the planet Kemble on the scanner, wondering what's going on there. So at that planet, in the jungle, a guy called Jeff Garvey, played by Barry Jackson, woke up in pain, saying he remembers something, and also said, must kill, leading to a spin-off one episode, Mission to the Unknown. So, that's Galaxy 4, and I really enjoyed that story, there's great stuff in there. What did you think of Galaxy 4? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks people as always for watching and see you in the next video.